So welcome to the recap today, uh, 28th of April. This morning we had uh, two gaps up, uh, Y10, sorry, uh, BWEN, TROV, gap down, Y10. And then we were looking at NVIDIA, Tesla. So let's start from BWEN. BWEN at a decent gap uh, from uh, 150 up to 340. Uh, we had pre-market trend line break. So when we had this trend line break, I started shorting over here, this level. And I wanted to see some more unwind until the J lines, but I was not enough discipline, I think. And I covered the majority over here in the 265, 270. So this gray zone over here. Uh, when I trade uh, pre-market, I trade small position. So as you know, I was like uh, one fourth in. Then I um, reshort over here with the same size. So this level over here, because we saw in this moment at this 240, a huge amount of sellers. Uh, there was a big Indian seller and there were some buyers. Buyers were, the buyers, sorry, could not break this resistance. So we had the refilling of the ask, soak of the ask. Once they cleared that 240, they push it up. And then again, he was back in. So he got um, probably short at, uh, over here at higher price. I would consider this or a big short seller or somebody that wants to unload big because also we have an ATM on BWEN. And then they dumped it, right? Over here when... Uh, we have basically the demand coming off, huge amounts of supply, boom. And right away, we have this volume pushing. So I would continue to look, waiting for lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. And I never had the push at or above J lines uh, or better. We had one push, A plus setup. So I just want to show you how instead I should have traded this. And I can see that Carford did a, a pretty good job. He took that one minute J line rejection. So it was like more precise and faster. This is how you have to be when you trade. So let's try over here to zoom a little bit. So he got that J line rejection over here, added, looking to cover on the support over here, and then waited for that pop, reshort it and recover. So this is the perfect execution that you have to have on, uh, on BWAN. So many traders could tell me, AJ, I missed the pre-market trade. That was a huge downside. That was a huge trade. All right, the point is, when you're trading something like this at open, you can trade this full size. You can load the boat because we had the high forecast for fader. We had the overhead resistance. We had the news, uh, contract news, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me check back. Yes, contact news. Uh, we have the company basically being a joke. Uh, we have a daily resistance in the 320 area and 350. So this was a completely high forecast fader. The point is when instead I trade pre-market, even I took a pretty decent unwind from 240, now to 180, I'm going to cover everything in the 170, maybe lower. That is only one for a size, all right? So, Let's say I take, actually I took uh, 2K shares this morning pre-market. I show my, my trade and then I reshorted. But over here at open, I would trade between 8 or 10K shares for a, something like 2K sh $2 trade. So this is a pretty good unwind over here. And I'm waiting for that 170, 160 to cover everything. Uh, we also had <clears throat> Trov, um, big miss for me, uh, this ad. I will explain over here. So we have ongoing phase uh, trials. When we have this news, the majority of this news is always a fader, uh, around 85% of my tracking. I was not looking for a long, because when I started reading the news, when I started seeing how the company is, we had um, a ton of overhead resistance into the two to 15 three. A huge amount of longs trapped on this. So today on this gap, they they probably want to like to get out of their position. And then we had the history of um, fading 
and a history of dilution. So they do offerings to raise the money through dilution so they can survive. Uh, the company is a joke, as I said. It's a completely joke, all right? Uh, when we had this push, I missed the 190 already. I was a little bit pissed because I missed this, uh, this first trade. Uh, then we had the second lower high. You can see push, lower high. So this is a trend line break. So trading pre-market is not something that you're a beginner, you get in the room, you should trade with me or with the guys over here with more experience right away. Just wait, all right? Trade first, the trade at open, the first hour, second hour, late eight fades. So short over here into the 173, got more in the 165, average 167. We start like having this unwind. So the first cover has to be this 140. I had a small position, all right? Small position over here. So I didn't cover myself, but if you're in with a bigger position, one third, one fourth, get out over here, sorry get out over here uh, one third or half of your position if then starts curling up get out everything because you want to be actually at the open almost empty of your shares right you want the possibility that if this pushes back up you trade over there so when we had this push look we had a lower high then we started having higher low so what is an higher low you see this is a first relative low this is the second relative low. And then this is a third relative low. So the trend is uptrending over here. And then we add this push above J lines, curl above J lines and boom. This is your explosion of volume, 800 K per minute over here. So above this level, above the 150, we have all the shorts that trigger stop loss. That's the reason why I say don't follow the masses because the masses will look at the VWAP. So what they do, they short below VWAP and they long or stop above VWAP, all right? So that's like, it's bad to say, but it's basically being a sheep. You don't wanna be a sheep. You want to be the one who makes money. So it goes up, I had orders in 170. Why 170? Simple, this was the area. We wanted to trade pre-market. And this was that level where we had the bounce over here and rejection. So this 170 uh, loading up to 180, risking this 190, 192 was my perfect level. Looking for unwind. Didn't get failed. So I'm still holding from pre-market 167. And I will be looking for this 115, 120 area down here. NVIDIA. Oh, white 10, sorry. White 10. So gap down day two, push over here, missed the field 710. Thanks that I had uh, uh, Maxman who alerted me. Um, so I tried to get field 704. It was late again. I don't know what happened today. Uh, got field at 696, 697, covered. Um, everything in the 650s and 660s this area over here we had another pop so you could reshort over here i don't like to do this so i didn't get the second move this is a gap down play same thing on the xrt i saw uh, i think yossi taking this so gap pop over here but right away stops it open above three minutes a lines so reason to short over here and then you take that down line nvidia now comes the fun. So my plan was to go long this morning. Long means looking for under over, looking for that uh, curl up with the one minute J-lines. The only thing I said, be aware that this 304, 305 can act as resistance. When I start seeing the SPY not having strength, I knew that Nvidia and Tesla uh, wouldn't have the strength itself. So this is, um, sorry, a push came down, then closed above. And then we had another push, and I didn't get long over here because we already rejected this level. So we went down and then rejection one minute J lines. So no trade over here. You basically want to see this bar over here coming back down, this pushing without this big spike or a curl. Tesla the same. Tesla had 
resistance into the 805. So what happens over here? Dips right away, push to that resistance 805 and rejects. So I know that this second bar, first of all, is pretty far from the J lines. Second, is far from our pre-market and we already reject this pre-market. So we know that this level is 805, they're already sellers. Do I want to trade counter trend? No, because it's full of support, pre-market support, trend line support, 200 JMA and the five support. So I'm not going to take something with higher risk. Did it work? Yes. But in order to make money consistently in the long run, you have to eliminate everything that is not A plus or that has and that doesn't have, sorry, the same win rate, all right? So I know that my setups have a certain win rate. Whatever is not in agreement with those setups, I do not take it. That's being disciplined. And that is being a professional trader. Know when you have to stay sidelines and do not trade. All right, traders, so I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, we will be back for afternoon trading. So only 45 minutes trading this morning, but we traded uh, the first three hours. Uh, still looking at INO over here. So this morning I said the plan very clear. We had the first red day, second day over here, wait for a spike, first red day, second day. We didn't have a spike, but we had that fail. So pretty good plan. Uh, very good J lines rejection over here, huge unwind. All right, traders. Thank you very much and see you later.